Hello, everyone. This time we're going to start with the workbook. So please open it on page 132. And let's start. Okay, first pay attention now how this reading is organized. We have a question first and it says read. Well, it isn't, yes, it is a question. What type of pigeon is a carrier pigeon? We need to, we need to read first. Okay, so let's get started. And pay attention to the organization I told you. It's organized in questions. So the title is pigeons, questions and answers. A pigeon is a kind of dove. Pichon, paloma. Pigeon, pichon, dove, paloma. And it says, how long have pigeons been around? They've been around for literally thousands of years. They were first domesticated or tamed by the Sumerian people of Mesopotamia. Does the word pigeon mean something? It's from the Latin word pipio, which means young chirping bird. The Latin word was ad adopted and changed by the French into pigeon, which give us our English word. Remember, we have words that come from other languages. Have pigeons really been used to carry messages? Yes, there is evidence that, in, that impressed by the pigeon's ability to return to where they come from people, they come from, People in Persia used them as messengers as early as the fifth century before Christ, many hundreds of years later in the 12th century. After Christ, that expression AD means after Christ. It comes from Latin, año domini, el año del Señor. Towns in Syria and Egypt were able to keep in contact using messages that were carried by pigeons. In 1860, Australians and New Zealanders set up a system that served as pigeon airmail service between the two countries. Imagine airmail service. In India, there was also a pigeon postal service. What kind of pigeon is a carrier pigeon? All, although people have called birds that carry messages carrier pigeons, no such bird actually exists. Carrier pigeons are rock pigeons that have been domesticated by humans. And there we have a thinking bowl that says, what information has been used so far to support the main point? Well, Lots of, lots of historical facts. How are the pigeons trained to carry messages? They are trained by placing food in one place and their homes in another. How much can a pigeon carry? About the most of a pigeon can carry in flight is 75 grams. That's about the same weight as a medium-sized chocolate bar. That's too much for a pigeon, don't you think so? How do the pigeons know where to go? Like many birds, pigeons have a natural navigating technique. They use the sun as a compass, as many birds do in their annual migrations. But the University of Oxford has discovered something even more amazing. These phenomenal birds have changed their behavior and adapted to use our highways as a map. Pigeons were flying up the highway from London to Oxford and even turning off at the correct exit. Wow, that's amazing. Is there anything, anything else pigeons can do? Well, yes, 
pigeons have been trained to save lives. In an experiment called Project Sea Hunt, pigeons were trained to recognize objects floating in the ocean. Some, something floating in the ocean could be a person in trouble. The pigeons were then trained to pick a special key on a keyboard to, to, he, to tell a helicopter pilot where the object was. And guess what? The pigeons got it right 93% of the time. Aren't they amazing? Of course they are amazing. So let's answer the question in exercise A. What type of pigeon is a carrier pigeon? Hmm. It's a domesticated, rock pigeon. You, you can see the answer at the top of the page in blue. All the things that I type are at the top of the page in yellow. So that's the answer for letter A. Now let's look, at, before we turn the page, look at this post stamp. It's from the U.S. Coast Guard's search and rescue. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's work on the next page. Letter A says, what is the author's opinion in pigeons? Questions and answers. Do you agree with it? Analyze the story and complete the chart. Okay, first we have, what is the, what is the topic? Well, I think the topic is pigeons as carriers. Oh, with double R, with double R. Pigeons as carriers. The next one, what is the main point? Well, the main point is that some some kind of, of pigeons can be trained, trained or domesticated as carriers and rescuers. Okay, you can see the you can see the answer at the top of the page. Some kind of pigeons can be trained as carriers and rescuers. Next, is it logical and accurate? They mean the article? Of course it is. Next, how do you feel about the topic now? Now, now, <laughs> I admire pigeons and people who train them. People who, people who train them. Yeah, it's something we must admire. Check, your, check the answers. And remember, in this case, you may have a different opinion. I'm not asking for facts. These are opinions and you can defer. Part B. Which language does the word pigeon originally come from? Let's read the questions and look at the answers at the same time, okay? Number one, which language does the word pigeon originally come from? It comes from Latin. Number two, how do people train pigeons to go to one place and come back? 
They're trained by putting food in one place and the pigeon's homes in another. Number three, how can a pigeon be a lifesaver? A pigeon can be a lifesaver by recognizing objects or people in the ocean. Number four, in your opinion, what makes pigeons special? In here it says students' own answers. But if you let me give my opinion, I think that they are amazing animals. They can adapt to many different scenarios. So we should admire them. Next, part C. Complete each sentence with the correct word. We have the options, ability, brainy, harsh, spear, spur, spear, man-made. Number one, pigeons aren't brainy, but they are smart enough to carry messages. Number two, they're I told you that you could defer and I defer. I, I think pigeons are brainy, but okay, it's an exercise. Number two, the rock formation was man-made, not formed by nature. Some fishermen spear fish instead of using fishing poles. Harsh conditions in winter force birds to migrate. Some birds have the ability to save lives. I'll give you some time to copy the answers. Now, not just copy, but also analyze the answers. And the last one, what about you? Think of a bird or animal that you think is special. What is it? And what makes it special? In my case, in my case, I consider hummingbirds. I, I, I love hummingbirds, colibris. Hummingbirds, they are the smallest birds. Which flap their wings Around sixty times per second. Isn't that amazing? Think of a different bird or the same one, but give your opinion and write your opinion, please. Remember, your opinion is really, really important. Okay, now let's switch to the student's book. And let's finish what we were doing yesterday. In the wrap up, let's answer the questions. What kinds of questions does the writer use to organize the action plan? WH questions. It says what, why, who, how, where, when. So, yes, WH questions. Question number two. Which questions does the writer start and end with what? 
and when. Number three, which part of the plan is the most detailed? The house section. Number four, is the order of the questions important? Why? Yes, of course, the order of the plan is important. It uses the WH questions in a clear order to say what the action plan is about. And in some cases, what action goes first and what actions go next. This was page 148 in the student's book. Now, let's work the same exercise in the workbook. We need to jump to page, jump to page 100. 38, go. Okay, here we are. It says, read this action plan, label the parts of the plant. Save the marvelous spatula tail. Look at the picture. The feathers, the feathers of the tail of that hummingbird look like spatules, spatulas, spatule tail, cola de spatula. Mm -hmm. So, marvelous spatule tails are a type of very rare hummingbird with four tail feathers. We want to help this bird survive and even increase the, po the population. Why? These fantastic birds are disappearing. Their habitats are being destroyed. They need trees and bushes to live in and, and feed from. Where? They live in the forest of northern Peru. Who? Everyone. We think we should all pay a part in saving these birds from extinction. When? Right away. We need to do something now before it's too late. How? Plants, bushes, and fruit trees can be planted to replace lost habitats and to give the birds more chances of getting food. These trees and bushes should be natural to Peru, where the birds live. Plants from different habitats aren't good, at, good for them. People can be educated about the birds. Videos can be shown, and information sheets can be distributed. The spatule tail population should be monitored. And now we have the first part is the WH questions, and the second part is the details about. Now, we have the questions. Read and answer the questions. Question number one. How has the author organized the action plan? with WH questions. Number two, which is the longest part of the action plan? The how part. Right? I erased the, the answer, the how part, okay? Why is it the longest part of the action plan? Because it explains in detail how the plan how the plan can be successful. Okay. 
Okay? Good. Now, we have um, a work to write an action plan. I'm not going to write it because that is going to be your job, okay? But I'm going to give you some ideas. You can write about a plan to celebrate the Children's Day. You can write a plan to celebrate the Mother's Day. You may have a plan to feed street dogs. You may write an action plan to be in touch with your family. Okay, you're going to write the action plan here and you're going to send me a picture by mail. Maybe your parents have to mail it to me, okay? This is going to be for Monday. Tomorrow, for the Children's Day, we're going to, write, to work a little, but I'm going to change the activities. We need to play because it's your last Children's Day and you have to celebrate, you have to play. So I'm going to switch the, the activities to a game. Mm -hmm. But, and on Friday, we're not having a class. So you're going to write an action plan for Monday. This is the project for units 13 and 14. And remember, you need to finish the unit 14 in the platform and also wrap up number seven. Mm -hmm. So you have some work to do, but I know it isn't that much and you can do it. So finish it on the weekend. Bye.